Hi there, Christina from MonkeyPod here going over fundraising pages with you. You can find fundraising over here in the fundraising area. You'll see when you click on there, there are three options. There's one to look at all of your fundraising pages, one option to go through all of your donation options, and one to look at your donation forms or embeds. Let's go ahead and take a look at first one of our fundraising pages. So over here, when you go to add a fundraising page, you can go ahead and click this, but I wanna take a look at a page that's already made. So remember the purpose of making a fundraising page is to quickly launch a page that you can make for uh, any sort of fundraising thing you're doing. Maybe you're asking for money for your birthday, maybe you're asking for a specific thing. Um, fundraising pages let you quickly launch a page and collect money via MonkeyPod. So you'll see here what's generated is uh, choose a donation option. So these are the donation options that we have for this fundraising page. These give specific amounts that you can give or make a one-time recurring gift to support your work. You are very, you're given a lot of flexibility um, as far as the donation options go, which we'll go through setting that up right now. So before you launch a fundraising page or create a page, it might be a good idea to go through your donation options. So we'll go ahead and launch a donation option. So maybe this, what we're doing is we wanna have just recurring donors, which this could be a way for you to um, actually migrate recurring donors over to the system. But maybe we wanna have recurring donation as a, an option. So you'll see here, we have the ability to charge a specific fixed amount. You know, So this will allow the donation option on my page to be only give me $20 either one time or monthly. We can also go in, let's say we wanna provide an option, we wanna do 10, 20, 30, or $40, but we also wanna allow people to enter an other, so this will give them the other option. And let's say we don't wanna take monthly at all, or we only wanna take monthly. Uh, this gives you a lot of flexibility in your donation options to set some of that up. You'll see when we actually go to add a fundraising page, or let's go ahead and just edit this page, we have our basic information here, our art gallery and sculpture garden, the description. This gives me the access URL, so this lets me copy this link here. This is the page that I'm gonna be sharing, that I'm gonna be sending in my email marketing campaign. This is the thing that I'm gonna be sharing why, you know, far and wide um, to all of my relationships. Now this will only be available after our go live date. Until then, the date that you want to send around to your staff or to your team is this link here, because this is that secret code link or the preview link that you have for your page if it's not live yet. So in here we can enter our goal and we can decide if we want the goal progress to be visible to the public if we say yes, that lets donors and prospects know how close we are. On our page here, that's this little temperature gauge here. We can also decide if we wanna have donor names visible to the public, if we wanna prompt social sharing, and what our go live date is. Over here, you'll see the visual design. This is the image that's behind this page right here. Um, it kind of gets muted a little bit where we have the text. And you can see that here are the giving options that we have defined. So we just defined recurring giving. So we can go ahead and put that in and save it. And then now let's go ahead and refresh our page. And you'll see that recurring giving now shows up as one of those options. The other thing that we can do under giving options is looking at who covers the processing fees. We recommend leaving it donor pays fees by default, but may opt out. What that looks like after we enter our payment information is a little checkbox that will say, okay, um, cover my fee and it, will, and it will add an extra percentage amount. Um, or you can also set these as default options. You could also say receipts are sent from and which account. A monkey pod will automatically email receipts to these donors. This is what they will look like. And you can see that it changes as the language for monthly options, partial donation, et cetera. Um, and then next is our tracking and accounting. So do you wanna allow online gifts or no only online donations count? And who do you want to get notified? 
when we have somebody that goes through. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out quickly is that you'll see here that these are our organization's colors, the dark blue and our logo. So from these settings, that fundraising page will be launched. But if you want to go ahead and modify those colors and that logo, that's under your organization's name, organization settings, and public facing pages. So this is where you'll update your logo and you'll choose your color. Um, this is also where you can look at any sort of Google Analytics measurement that you might want on your page. Donation embeds are similar to fundraising pages in that they will automatically tag any donations and automatically put anybody into your monkey pod. However, what they are is they are meant to be put into your web page. So this will take this form here and will actually you embed it into your web page by copying a URL here. If you have any questions about that, please let us know at support at monkeypod.io. Thanks.